Good. All right. Problem number three. Longest substring without repeating characters. Oops. Given a, a string S, find the length of the longest su substring without repeating characters. Oh, that's all it is. Okay. So input is ABC, ABC, BB. Output should be three because ABC is the longest substring. Here B is the longest substring without repeating characters. And then we have WKE. Notice the answer must be a substring. PWKE is a subsequence and not a substring. Okay, because it's a double W. All right. Well, let's let's get things set up before we um, come up with a solution. But this doesn't seem like it's too difficult. All right. So this is zero 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 three. Right. Oh, longest substring without repeating characters. That is very long. Is that the longest one we have so far? Oh, this is close. Let's see. I'm just curious now. That goes to uh, 63. And that goes to, oh, so it's the same length. <laughs> okay. All right, so we try to build. We then do the quick action to create the file. We then jump to that file. We then grab this, copy, pub, pubstruct solution, paste, and return zero. And then that should also build. It does. I'm looking over here to see if it's building or not. Um, and then we have our test. First example is going to be solution length of longest substring for, and it's looking for a string, A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B, two string, and that's going to be equal to three. And that should fail. Oh, test. There. And it fails here. Good. Okay, um, so the first thing that comes to mind is using some sort of, uh, using a hash set in some fashion in order to keep track of what characters we've seen before. And then just keep, keep a list of all the unique characters. So like if we add A to a hash set, and then we add B, and then we add C, and then we go to add A, but A already exists in the hash set. Um, Oh, we can't, so we can't just remove it and keep going. We actually have to remove it in order, right? We have to remove it because once we get to this B here, right? Well, it'll be A, B, C, B. We want to remove the A and the B from the substring and it'll be C, B. And then we want to keep track of the length of the longest one that we've encountered so far. Hmm. Okay, so we know we need a hash set because that's the way we're going to look things up. So use standard collections. Oh, I'm not, I shouldn't be writing it here. I should be writing it over here. Uh, use standard collections hash set. Um, and then we'll, we'll need, uh, we'll need an array, which is s.chars collect back char. Right, so now array should have a list of all the characters and we can actually go through each array element. So we have, well, I guess we'll have to start with a start and an end pointer and then we move the end pointer forward until we find a character that we've seen before and then move the start pointer forward, removing from the hash set until we've removed the character that we uh, that we encountered. Okay, so our hash set is just going to be start off as empty. Kafka, how are you? Yeah, I try to stream around the same time every day, 
So if if it's a bad time for you, then that's that's gonna uh, unfortunately be a bad time every every day. But um, I'm glad to see you today. Um, let's see. If we start off by just inserting, let's we can do. Hmm, so let's start and end values. Let let's start equals zero. Let not end equal zero. And we can say while end is less than array len. Uh, we want to look it up in the hash set end, right? If hs con contains array of end, Kafka says it's fine, just me being too busy. Yeah, I know how that goes. There, there are many mornings that I can't stream even though I want to um, because of various life things um so if the hash set contains all right so we're, we're going to assume that we've gone through a b c and now we're on the second a and we see it there we want to remove the first entry from the array uh starting with start until we no longer have it in the array i guess yeah so what we can do is we can make this a while while hs contains array end, we can say hs remove array, oops, array start. VJ, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Glad to see you. Uh, and then start plus equals one, right? And that way we'll keep, we'll keep removing until we hit the beginning the, the first one that doesn't have array n. So now we'll have an, an actual array length. Um, <laughs> VJ says, roses are red, violets are blue, lead code is cool, VJ follows you. Very nice. Um, so now we want to save the, um, the length of the array. Let, oh, so we need a max len. And we want to say the length, I guess, is the number of characters in the hash set, right? So we can just say max len of max len dot max of hs len. Because the number of characters in the hash set is the number of, it should also be equal to uh, start minus end, right? Oh, we got to insert um, hs insert array end we've just removed it right we just removed array end from the hash set now we're going to reinsert it i guess that that's kind of sloppy maybe it hmm. but there's no other way to know it unless unless we say hs remove array start and then check to see if it's equal to array end, and then we can just ignore that insert um but that's starting to feel like premature optimization let's see if this version works And then um, I think I think that's all we need to do. And then once once we've figured out which one is the one that has the most characters in it, that's our result, right? Um, oops. Okay. What else? That also has to be a reference. I keep forgetting that. And then this needs to be an i thirty two. Is that it? No more items. Okay. And this fails because I'm off by one. Nice. I'm off by one. Oh, we want to um we want to include the end. Okay. So let's do that. How's that look? Yep, that looks better. Um, and then, oops, example two is BBB. Let's see if that one works. Y, paste, one, two, three, four, five, and that should be a one. Yep, that works. And then we have this one, whatever that is, PQQ. X3. Um, 
that one, and that should be a three. Okay, so I think we have a, a working solution. We might make it a little more efficient by not removing and then inserting right away. But let's see, um, let's see how bad this is. I'm being judged. Okay, not too bad. 35%. But again, these run times are, are kind of wacky. All right. Um, can we actually do that? We can say while HS contains. Oh, ah, okay. So we don't want to actually do that while HS contains. If we, if we don't want to avoid inserting the same character we just removed, we can just say we can say loop HS remove array. Oh, doesn't H uh, the hash set remove give us? Uh, Rust. Rust. There's too many languages out there. Uh, let's see. Remove, does it return the value? No, it returns whether or not it was in there. Oops, I clicked on bool. Calface dude said, if I was doing this in JS, it would be at least 100 milliseconds. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they've, they've, they've got to scale the, the speed based on the language you use, because if you're using a very slow interpreted language, they should give you more runtime, right? And it's only fair to compare it against other versions of that language. Um, so remove only returns bool. It doesn't actually return the value. I was hoping it would, but I guess that's, hmm. Yeah, that's that's fine. I can say HS remove array start. Then I can say if array start is equal to array end, then break. Otherwise start plus equals one. Um actually we want to increment start here and then we can say start minus one is equal to any the thing we just removed and we don't have to uh insert that there oh wait that's not going to work because we we will need to insert yeah hmm i guess there's no other way to do it because you still need to insert it Oh, yeah, so we, we somehow you need to insert it because now we can check to see if the array star is equal to the array end. Then we found the thing that we're going, we were going to insert and not remove it. But somewhere you need to insert it. So I'm missing, I'm still, my brain isn't quite keeping up with what's going on. Um, Kafka says we could use take and take would show us Oh, I see. Yeah, removes and returns the value in the set. Um, but no need here, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, because we should be able to look before we insert. Um, but here we want to see if we weren't able to remove it. That's where we want to do the HS insert array and break. I don't know if that's going to work. Well, that's why we have test cases. Yeah, so that worked. Kafka says insert uh, returns a bool as well. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, because then we could say insert, and if it was already if it was already present, the set already contained the value false is returned. Right. I wonder if we we could, because um, this still tries to remove, and then insert. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I'm just playing with this too much, or if this is. How would we do it if we tried to re 
do an insert and check on insert. If not hs insert array end. If we didn't insert it because it already existed, then we have to start popping until we find it. While array start is not equal to array end, hs remove array start. And then, oops. Like that. Let's see if that works. That was a weird reformat on uh, Rust format's part. Oh, and now we, I forgot to increment array start, so now we have an infinite loop. Beautiful. Uh, start plus equals one. So I have to kill this. Uh, PS dash FU Gauss grab target. Nope. <laughs> wow. Put the minus in the wrong spot. Kill this guy. Okay. So did I save this? I I did. Okay. I saw the, there was a warning there, and it might have been a warning that start was never um, used. So that would have been handy. All right. So this, these tests pass. Um, so that's an even simpler design, I think. Uh, and I don't know which more, what's more efficient, max of HS len or max of a start minus n. That should also work. Nope, it failed. Um, and my, my computer fan is going haywire, so maybe I didn't kill that thing properly. No, it's dead. Maybe it's just delayed reaction. Okay, so start minus n plus 1. Oh no. Subtract with overflow. n minus start. No, okay. Oh, we should only do this if Okay, yeah. Let's leave it as the uh, the length of the uh, hash set because that's the actual value of how many characters there are. All right, let's see if this is any different to the 11 millisecond version. Here, paste, submit. And it gives the wrong answer on this one. Ooh. Exclamation point. Okay, let's copy and paste that and see. So the longest sub... Oh, interesting. Expected a three, and I ignore the exclamation mark for some reason. I shouldn't. Wrong answer one. Okay. Oops. I. Oops. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's fix that string. That should be three, and we're getting two. Interesting. Why? It shouldn't be the exclamation mark. If I change that to a C, it should be A B exclamation mark, right? If I change that to A B C, yeah, it still says two. So it's got nothing to do with that character and everything to do with this bad code. Um, so let's just let's just take a look at the string here and see if we can do it one by one. If not hs insert, so the this should return true. So we should get a in there, n plus 1. We come here. The a should return true, so we should remove it. Oh, because a a Array start is equal to array end, so it doesn't remove it from the hash set, and it comes up with the... Yeah, well, that's fine, because it leaves the A in there, right? And then we say N plus 1. Now we're pointing at B. It works, and then we hit A, and now we have to remove the A. And we have BA, except we don't remove anything. Okay, so let's let's... Maybe we can just print it out as we're doing the work. 
Um, we can say println found. Um, let's say this println processing this array end. We can just say found. Um, println removing that array start. And we can take a look. Voltaire Noir says, what's Rust version that leak code is currently using? Uh, I don't know. Kafka says 1.58.1. Um, Kafka asks, do you need to increase start again after the while array start is not equal to, oh, maybe, maybe. Removing A, removing A, that shouldn't be, right? Um, do I have to incre increment start here? Is that what you're suggesting? That's, yeah, that's the answer. Um, hmm. How do we avoid having multiple increments then? I don't, because th there should be a way to do it without the double increment. Um, yeah, is there a way to find out what what version? I, c I can click details, but details do doesn't tell me version. And there's no version string that I can access, I don't think. I can change the language. Yeah, nothing there. All right. Well, let's try. Let's try this and see what, how this goes. Start plus equals one. Not thrilled with this, but we can live with it. Yeah. So it's about the same, about the same time as um, the previous solution. All right. We'll stick with this one. I th I like this one. Kafka says the I is for information. It, yeah, this says editor shortcuts, right? So, unless there's another I I'm missing. No. Oh, this this I over here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize that was a separate thing. I think they're getting a little too fancy. Look at that. Also, with the with the bar, it moves the button over. They're getting a little too fancy with the uh, information there. Rust 151, 158.1, and supports RAND version 0.6 from Crates IO. Oh, yeah, I guess anything that um, would need random numbers, you need to be able to pull those in. So it's already part of whatever cargo.toml they're using. Okay. Um, but this is, this is a decent solution. We might be able to get away, uh, like, we might be able to put a loop in here. No. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how, how else to do this without having two increments on start. And I don't see it. I mean, in, in C, right, you just say start plus plus here. And you, you could eliminate both these lines. Uh, and then you have to say start minus one. Or here, right? <clears throat> All right. That's a good version. Git status, git add source, git commit dash m. Problem three, longest substring without repeating characters. All right, let's tick that box. Check that circle. 